Hello and welcome from Liberty Fest. Uh, we're here again with our uh, good friend uh, Mark Latham. Thank you for coming on the Unshackled again. Oh, pleasure. Thanks, Tim. And you, of course, never miss an opportunity of speaking engagement, but you're also here to promote your new book, Outsider, Outsiders, which you can uh, purchase from Wilkinson Publishing. That's right. And it's yep. been selling very well. It has. We've sold out here at the conference, which is a lot better than the alternative, so happy about that. Now, uh, it's obviously, this is uh, your current uh, me media career. You, uh, oh, one, at one point in time, you were also a politician as well. Now, uh, when you, you were an MP from 1994 to 2005, you were Labor leader for the 2004 election. Mm -hmm. uh, you retired, you were a family man for a number of years. Uh, what made you decide to you know, come back and be, uh, be so prominent in, uh, in the public sphere? Well, I suppose the leftist march through institutions, you know, I think there's a cultural Marxism, an anti-freedom movement in Australia that expresses itself through the language control, the political correctness, the, 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 the sort of employment and uh, identity control of identity politics, uh, return of some of the protectionist economic instincts worry me. So, yeah, I think there's some basic fights we need to have about the freedoms of the nation that are very important, so I've been involved in those and uh, trying to expose the absurdity of uh, identity politics and political correctness in particular. Now, one of the, the criticisms that level, levelled at ex-politicians such as yourself is that you, know, you speak, you know, what, you're, what you're saying now is you know, re really refreshing and really needed, um, but you know, when, when, when these people are politicians, that's their, their impact is limited. Do you have any regrets that maybe you couldn't have made a greater impact when you were an MP? Uh, well, the issues change over time. You've got to respond to those. But in terms of consistency, you know, I, I, I fought many battles inside the Labor Party in terms of economic freedom to push back against protectionism and retro economics, as uh, Kim Beasley and Simon Crean were trying to advance, and also made some early critiques of identity politics when I was inside the Labor Party. So I don't feel like I've made some uh, radical transition to a new set of positions. I think the sort of political debate has changed quite a lot, but uh, all you can do is respond as best you can in the circumstances in which you find yourself. Yes, well, your first book was called Civilising Global Capital. That was very much in the, the Hawke Keating free market tradition. So, yes, you, you are right. You yeah, I, I copped a lot of criticism there. That this was uh, not the right way to go in terms of economic policy. I, I remember one of my colleagues, Anonymous, of course, uh, kindly put it out there. Oh, this bloke's right of Genghis Khan. So, um, you know, I've, I've sort of heard these uh, labels and, uh, and, and critiques for a long while now. You've been on Sky News, you're now on the, the Rebel Media, so obviously uh, you know, you're still making a... How do you feel making a contribution to the media is different than wh how you can make as an MP? Well, you, in the media, you've got a role there to influence public opinion, whereas obviously as an MP you could be a legislator, a lawmaker, so they are different functions, uh, although as an MP you're also trying to influence public opinion to win elections, so um, there are some differences there, but... Yeah, certainly in Britain there's a bigger tradition of, of people who leave the parliament and become you know, commentators, journalists, writers, opinion leaders and so forth. So uh, in Australia for some reason uh, there's a little bit of an expectation there that oh, someone left the parliament they should just sort of go hide under a rock and never be seen or heard of again. But uh, I, I think that's a bit unreasonable. Now your book is called Outsiders, you champion the, the cause of the outsider and you've become uh, an outsider from your former political party, the Labor Party. They, they kicked you out when you decided to, to join the, the Liberal Democrats. No, they, they sort of kicked me out beforehand. They banned me from speaking at a function in Western Sydney. Rainbow Labor said I couldn't speak at a function at Smithfield RSL, so at that point I thought there was no point being involved there. I better, I better go to the Party of Freedom. Uh, so how do you, where do you think the Labor Party has gone wrong over the past uh, f uh, 15 years that you, know, you feel that you, know, you can no longer uh, in influence it or that it's salvageable? Well, I suppose that instance of being banned by Rainbow Labor from speaking in Western Sydney, where I've lived for over 50 years, that's a party that's scared of debate, it's scared of sort of a, a 
contrary point of view, are scared of someone's words, and they're applying political correctness to everything that's that's happening. They're sort of like a Stalinist fringe running the Labor Party these days. So that's a big problem. I think the Labor Party's embrace of identity politics is a very divisive and unnecessary thing to do. Shorten and Co now judge all the issues through race, gender, and sexuality. And, and we saw in the United States how identity politics by Hillary Clinton means that you've got nothing to say, absolutely nothing to say, to white middle-aged men in rust bucket communities who've been restructured out of jobs, but other problems and, and issues in those communities. And if you pretend that poor white men are not disadvantaged, and in fact this represents white male privilege, then I'm afraid as a political party you've lost the plot. And, and any claim you've got to being progressive is, is just ridiculous. Well, Mark, thank you for coming back on The Unshackled, and uh, I would recommend to all of our viewers to buy the book and also watch Mark Latham's Outsiders on Rebel Media. You're also frequently on 2GB with Alan Jones yeah, yeah, and that's right, yeah. uh, Ben Fordham, and then uh, you're also on The, the Bolt Report on Sky News every, on Thursday, e every Thursday night, yeah, night. and, and a, a, a newspaper column in the Daily Telegraph in Sydney on Tuesday, so I'm keeping busy. You can never have too much uh, Mark, Mark Latham. <laughs> thank you again for joining us. Thanks, Tim. Good on you. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.